Hi everyone, this is Zahra from Moodle Mood 12 Week 2. I'm here in teacher practice area in order to explore some activities uh, in this part. I have already turned the editing on and I want to go to see which activities are available. Uh, as you see here, there are a lot of activities available here. They range from different assignments, big blue button, chat, forums, some games, group choice and self-selection, hot potatoes, quizzes, surveys, and also adding Skype sessions and adjusting and arranging for WizIQ live classes and also workshops and a lot more. Uh, okay, let's see what the big blue button is. Uh, big blue button uh, allows us to create some live sessions and record it. As you see here, you can choose for classroom or activities to be recorded. Uh, virtual class name. We can call it class one and choose for sending notifications. Um, settings for activity or room. We can send a welcome message. And wait for moderator. Yes, we can wait for moderator or just leave it to be uh, based on the default. For setting for recording, show recording preview, it's okay. And also for presentation content, we can drag and drop or upload some presentation files like PowerPoint presentation or any other slide or type of classroom content. And with regard to the participants, so we can add participants, uh, participants based on those who have already enrolled or based on their roles or to be user or not. Based on the roles, I would like to add students here. And then I can say they can be viewers or moderators. I want them to be viewers. And then I can uh, select the roles for teachers, whether they, I want them to be moderators or students to, to be just viewers. And then I can schedule for the session. For instance, I want to enable uh, this scheduling. Let's choose for the class to begin in an hour and last for an hour. OK. We can also make different adjustments. For instance, for activity completion, students must view this activity to complete it. Yeah. And I can adjust for completion. I want them to work on this activity or stay in the class just today. OK. And students can manually mark the activity as completed or show activity as complete when the conditions are met. I would prefer this one. And let's save and display how it works. OK. It looks like this. We can import recording links here. And also, we can go back to uh, activities. Yes, it's added here. Now I want to add another activity to this part. Let's add a forum. I particularly like forums because uh, we can encourage students to participate in discussions and uh, you know interacting with each other. Um, Maybe I want to raise a question about something uh, and uh, let's ask it what is 
netiquette. I want to add a video here and ask my students to watch it and then answer to some questions. Um, let's go to this part. Then we may ask some questions. Let's see how it can be displayed. It can be viewed by the participants. Okay, what is netiquette? Please watch the video. They can watch video here and add new discussion. There might be some more questions. We might ask them some um, meaningful and goal-oriented questions. Now I'm just showing how it might work. Okay, let's go back to the topic five to see what other activities we can add to this part. Uh, with hot potatoes, as you know, hot potatoes is a software that allows us to uh, make some uh, different quizzes. I've already um, adjusted for, uh, I've already made a, a short quiz, a crossword puzzle. Um, name it, get from source file. Let's just add it. Where is it? I've... Okay, let's put it here. Upload the file to see how it is visited by anyone who uses this part. Okay, this is a cross for a crossword puzzle I have already designed and students, people can come here, do it. They click on the numbers and then they have words. After that, they can check the answer and complete it. I can also adjust can also add other activities. But now let's go back to topic five. Well, now in the topic five, I have already arranged for a class. I have uh, added a forum and I've added a crossword puzzle. Now let's see how we can um, adjust for a Skype session or what we can do with this link, with this activity. If I choose this one, let's say Skype. Let's see how it is displayed. Wow. It, sh it shows the participants and enrolled people name and whether or not they have already added their um, Skype ID, for example, my own. Uh, we can uh, create a conference with them, adjust for a conference. We can create a chat, send voicemail, add contact, and also send files to these people. So let's go back. I'm not going to touch people's ID. OK. Save. Um, maybe I want to adjust. Um, 
and arrange a live session oops there are two Skype sessions here let's delete one of them it's extra I like this with IQ live classes okay title we should add a title We may want to add some descriptions here, but uh, what is important is setting time. Uh, my time zone is Asia, Tehran, and uh, I'm not going to change it. Uh, schedule for uh, right now. I can schedule the class for right now, or I can schedule it for any other time, for instance, for this date. And I can arrange and set different time. Duration in minutes. Maybe I want this class to last an hour. 60 minutes. Setting a with IQ class. Virtual language uh, virtual class language. English. Okay, record. I want to uh, I can choose for recording the class and then um, again. We can adjust all these availabilities, restrict access, activity completion, and tags. Let's just add a few tags. Model mode 12. Model for teacher 2018. And any other tag we want to add. Save and display. Let's see how people can view this class. Oops. I don't have permission to do this. Okay, let's go back. We do not need to have this class. We have already added enough activities and we can add some other activities that uh, we are permitted. Okay, I've added enough. Maybe I want to add another game. And also we can add many activities like feedback, surveys, questionnaire, e-voting and group making. Okay, let's see how we can attempt the game. Okay. Now uh, let's turn the editing off to see how these activities may be observed. Yes. The class it is ticked because we have chosen for this to be to work this way. People come here, enter this place. I still don't know how they can enter the class, but the, and, and it says there are no recording here to show. But there there is a place to import recording links. I need to learn much more about this big blue button. I think it's a very interesting thing. And then we have this forum, we have this crossword uh, puzzle and Skype. And also we had the game. <coughs> we can attempt the game now and let learn a lot more about it. Okay, I think that's enough for now, and uh, thank you so much for your attention.